Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got something special for all you Obsidian enthusiasts out there. We are diving deep into the world of Obsidian customization. In this video, I'll be sharing five community plugins that will make your vault look amazing. In my opinion, this is not something to be underestimated because if your application looks good and you like it, you will use it even more willingly. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future content. All right, let's get into it. First up, we have to choose a theme. There are several themes in Obsidian. Some of them are more fancy and other more simple, but the choice is purely subjective. My favorite theme is minimal. It gives your Obsidian vault a clean and elegant look. So let's go to settings, appearance, themes, manage, minimal, install and use. As you can see, it's all about simplicity and readability, but that's not all. To take it a step further, let's check out the minimal theme settings plugin. So let's go to settings, community plugins, browse, minimal theme settings, install, enable. If you click here on options, you can modify the color scheme. Personally, I only modified the dark color scheme here to macOS, but as you can see, you can choose between many others. You can manage some other features. And personally, I activate colorful active states here and the colorful headings. So my headings will have different color for each size. And then I leave the rest as it is. You can adjust some really nice layout aspects here that I will cover in future videos when I will show you some very nice plugins and also manage the typography. For example, I use a smaller text size like 15 and I will modify the line width like 60 here, 75 here and 100 here. I mean, try some combination and set it to match your personal style. Now let's move on to our next plugin, style settings. So go to community plugin, browse, style settings, install, enable, and let's go to the options. This plugin provides an intuitive settings panel where you can configure so many obsidian options without diving into complex configuration files. Let's try some of them. For example, in headings, you can modify the font, the size, the color, and I really like to add a divider line below the H1 heading. So I just add this, but as you can see, you can change other stuff like the sidebars, for example, here on the top left, you can see that we have the modern compact style here, but I really like the modern wide, for example, and it looks like this. And if you go on tabs, I don't like these kind of tabs here, like a browser, you know, I prefer something different. And here there is the modern one that it's really cool. So I choose this one and I increase the height to 45 maybe. Okay. And you can also change the tag shape. I really like the rounded one is really nice. Just try it and tell me in the comments what you, what you prefer. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, there are plenty of options you can play with to entirely customize your world. Now let's talk about organization and aesthetics combined with the icon folder plugin. This one is great for those of you who love visual cues. So let's go to the community plugins, browse icon folder. Here we go, install and enable. In the options here, you can decide to use one or more pre-installed icon package, or you can add and use a custom one. Personally, I really like the simple icons and the tabler icons. So to add them, just click here on browse icon packs and click on the icon pack you want. So simple icon here and tabler icon. Now. Maybe you will have a personal folder for personal stuff. So let's create one folder and call it personal. And for example, we can use a home as icon. So right click on folder, change icon, and you can choose a home. 
or maybe you have a resources folder. So let's create one. Okay. And maybe you want something like this. Okay. And inside the resources, you can have another folder called books. And here you can use an icon like this one. It's really nice. In the settings, you can also change uh, the color. So maybe you want red. And here we go. You have the red icons. But you can also use these icons for your files. So maybe you just want to use a simple note icon here for your note. This plugin gives your vault an extra touch of personality, you know. And the last but not least, we have the Link Favicon plugin. So community plugin, browse, Link Favicons, install, enable. And you can play around the options here, but just leave it as it is. Basically, with the link favicons, you can see the favicons for a linked website without using any custom CSS. So basically, if I go here and I copy paste my website, as you can see, I have my favicon here in front of the address. I mean, it's not an important plugin, but you know, it looks really nice. So there you have it, folks. These five community plugins Minimal theme, minimal theme settings, style settings, icon folder, and link favicon can transform your Obsidian Vault into a personalized and functional masterpiece. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you to check the video description for all the links to these plugins. And remember to support these amazing developers who put in the hard work to make our Obsidian experience even better. I hope you enjoyed this Obsidian customization video as much as I did. You will find all my contacts in the description down below and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow note takers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.